Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolve news update video. Got some massive information about problems that you've been having on official servers the last few days. If you don't know about these issues on official servers, there was huge issues with Ark Transfer, as well as that some big massive event happened that has caused massive anger in the community. So if you caught my video a couple days ago about the official mods coming to Ark Survival Evolved as a sponsored program, you'll have seen that I actually told you guys that all the team were at a developers conference. Pretty much every single one of them was at this developers conference. So if there was any problems, we wouldn't be able to get hold of them. Well, the shit just hit the farm. If you transferred any player data or any creatures or items in the last couple days on official servers, the chances are you'll have lost everything. I'm sure many of you have had the problem already, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but for those that don't, when you transfer your items or your creatures or your player, obviously it's in a sort of web provider. And then when you go to download your creature or your item or your character, then you just simply take it from their cloud in the sky. Amazon Web Services are the ones that host this and they had a problem and they went down. So that means that anyone that had uploaded their player data or creature data or item data in these last two days has actually now had it all gone. This created a bunch of issues with people complaining and writing tickets up on the official forum, which is what you're meant to do when there's a problem. So that issue got resolved. They got the online web services back and hopefully, you know, it would be the end of it. Of course, players that had uploaded their character will have lost their character. You will have to start again, guys. So if you're waking up to this at the moment, you haven't been on Ark in a couple of days, maybe. Maybe you transferred your character or didn't realise, or you just don't know. You will not be able to get your character back if you put it in transfer. If you've not bothered transferring in the last few days, you've not ever done that on an official server, you don't have to worry. But anyone that transferred their character data will have that character gone and deleted. And that's on Xbox, PC and PS4. So after literally 18 hours or so of no communication from the devs other than the Panda guy on uh, one of the admins on the actual um, forums, they finally were trying to resolve the problem. They were all away trying to fix the issue. So you're thinking that's pretty bad enough. People have lost their characters. They've lost all their items and their dinosaurs in that transfer. You won't be able to get your items or your dinosaurs back if you transferred anything. But they've gone and rolled back the servers by two days. And that is again for everyone on official servers. So if you're about to jump on your official server this morning, you're going to be in for a big surprise when you find out that it's been rolled back. Any creatures you've tamed in the last two days, any base building you've done, any resource gathering you've done has been reset by at least 18 hours to two days. The reason they've said they've done this is to stop people duplicating or glitching. They found an issue that when they put it back, people could duplicate items. But that is a really shitty thing to do, roll back the servers for two days. The people that had already lost their characters or their items or the dinosaurs, I'm sure were angry and upset, but they would understand that that just happens. But now they've gone and punished everyone else that was on the servers. Now, of course, they've not done this on purpose. I'm not saying that Wildcard have, you know, done this with an intent. But the timing of it couldn't be worse. After announcing a program to sponsor mod creators by $4,000 a month, they then can't actually provide a stable, secure internet firm to keep their servers running. This kind of stuff you'd expect to happen in the first six months, maybe the first year of a game developing in early access. Heck, you might even find it in a brand new game that's just been launched officially and it might have a problem in the first few days. But this has been out over 18 months, it's coming up for two years on PC. So lots of the devs have been sorry or the community managers have been saying how sorry they are that the problems affected so many people. You can see here Jen for once is being quite communicative and, and writing quite a lot of t tweets about it. And they've said they're going to implement things in, it in the future to make sure it never happens again. In all my time covering the ARC news on Twitter, on social media, on forums, I have never seen so many angry responses from people. The list goes on. I was taking a look at all these comments, I was reading all of them, and they are just filled with angry, angry players. And you know what? You've got a right to be angry. 
Of course, there's nothing we can do about it now. Your players have been lost if you transferred. I want to make that clear. I've said it like five or six times now because I don't want anyone mistakenly thinking your players have been deleted if you play an official. It's only if you've transferred your player in the last two days. But look how many responses. I've never seen that many responses on the, like launch days when they're launching a brand new feature, an update, a mod. Never have I seen so many people complaining and talking about it on Twitter. And this is just one tweet. When you go through lots of the tweets on all the devs, there are so, so many people complaining. So let me know what you think about that. Are you one of these people that are tweeting? How has it affected you? What have you lost? Put it in the comments section. If you're on Twitter, make sure you're following me as well. I tweet this stuff constantly. I didn't do a video about it yesterday because I really just didn't have time yesterday. I had some issues personally. But I, I was tweeting all the stuff that was going on and trying to let people know. You know, with competition from games like Conan and continual competition from games like Rust, as well as games like The Island, and we've got even more games coming out with Dinosaurs in in the future, Ark have got to be a little bit careful. Yes, they have a huge fan base, a passionate fan base. We love the game. But it's these kind of things and events that happen that really just destroy any sort of trust we have in the developer. And although it may have not been their fault directly, they can't control a big company that runs the web services. They have made that decision to roll back the servers. They didn't necessarily have to do that. And I'm sure some of you little trollish people out there will be wondering, oh, stop crying, it's only a couple of days worth. But a couple of days worth on official servers is an incredible amount of time. And it seems like a, just a, a knee-jerk reaction to something. If there was problems with glitching or duplication, I don't think many people would have cared, as long as they could have kept their characters or their items or their things. They have increased gathering rates. There is an evolution rate at the moment, and they have increased some of them, but only to 1.5. Lots of you have been complaining, saying they should increase it more. And again, if you just go through the tweets, there's so many people complaining, saying that they don't want it. Lindsay Nielsen here, I think we should get three times mock players for losing every freaking thing we've done in the last 36 hours. Best be three times, you took over 40,000 metal ingots to place that, sir. Yeah, all right, mate, you was getting all that metal ingots in two days, was you? Was you just doing nothing but mining? But this is exactly the point I'm making. William Kutchen, are you guys that insane? A couple tribes duped items, so you guys roll back to a random spot 36 hours, ensuring everyone loses. Everyone's pretty much saying the same thing. Put it to three times. It is incredible. I, like I said, I can't get over how many angry people there are on it at the moment. And obviously not everyone's angry. People do understand. You know, I'm, this isn't a video to just bash them even more. Well, it is a little bit. But they need to absolutely make sure this never happens again. Because if you're an official player, you put your dedication into that game. I don't play on official servers. I haven't got the time to grind and tame a dinosaur for three hours. But I bet it's really frustrating when stuff like this happens and you lose something. Especially over the reasoning. They've literally done this to stop some people duplicating items. And that just isn't on. There should have been another way or just take the items off the tribes that have done it. Anyway, if you've got any more information about what happened, let me know on Twitter or in the comment section. I am Jay Plays Games. I'm sorry I couldn't get this video up to you a bit sooner, guys. I wanted to try and warn people more not to transfer their creature data. And again, unless you had Twitter, you would never know these problems were occurring. So that's what I'm here to do. I try and give you a heads up, or at least you know that things are back to normal. So you can now officially transfer creatures, items and players, and it should be okay. And we'll have to just see what the future holds for official servers and their stability. I am Joe Plays Games. For all the ARC news, make sure you've got the notification button up here in the corner. Make sure you like this video and I'll see you guys soon.